Praise God and welcome to the Rise of the Beast. This is part nine. And what I want to say today is what have we learned so far? Well, number one, the beast of Revelation 13 and Daniel 7 verse 7 is arising. Number two, it was prophesied it would come to be and pass through God's anointed word some 2,000 years ago. Number three, it is the last rise of a satanic inspired empire where Satan influences men to do his dirty deeds. Number four, it is evident that the Roman Catholic Church is the whore who rides the beast. She has polluted the kings and nations with her fornication. Chapters 17 and 18 of Revelation. Uh, the Pope, uh, this number five, the Pope could be the end time false prophet who promotes the beast and the Antichrist. Uh, Revelation 13, verse 11 to 15. Uh, Rome sits on seven hills, although Vatican City is a sovereign nation itself. Uh, number six, it is possible because of the rise of technology to microchip all humans, thus fulfilling God's prophecy that it says it will happen. 666. Revelation 13, verse 16, 18. Number seven, the beast system will have a very mighty war machine who is able to make war with him. Revelation 13, verse 4, and we see the powers that to be today, nuclear power and just the arsenal and weapons of mass destruction is just phenomenal. Uh, number eight, Christ will defeat this beast system, the Antichrist, false prophet at Armageddon, Revelation 16, verse 16 to 21, Revelation 19, 19 to 21. And then there will be a 1,000 year reign of Christ and the saints here on earth, hallelujah. And number 10, Satan will be bound for 1,000 years and loose for a season, 20 verse one to three of Revelation. Uh, thus the false prophet and Antichrist are in the lake of fire at that time. Revelation 20 verse 10. So what is the evidence of the beast system, etc.? Is the beast system possible? And then time, fourth kingdom, Daniel 7, 7, Revelation 13. Uh, the rise of Hitler lets us see just how possible for one man to get it in his heart and be a pawn in the hands of Satan and paint a mind picture in the hearts of a people. Get them in one mind, one accord, and set goals and tasks. Make them feel needed, wanted, a part of it, loved. And once that connection was made, millions happily died for Hitler and his maniac, satanic inspired cause. And thus forward to our day, 2008 and beyond, we see Obama has been spewing Yes We Can for almost four years. The people adored him, messiahized him and especially as he became a, a hope and savior figure to millions of blacks and whites who were sick of the years of the Bush regime. The timing was perfect to make promises, promises and get all people worked into a frenzy, get them all rocked to sleep into La La Land and allow for the forces behind the scenes to further its ruthless, evil, satanic inspired agenda to take over the world, raise taxes, offshore jobs, kill jobs and wreak havoc all over the world such as the US, Spain, Greece, Portugal, Italy, France, England, etc. and third world countries as the black horse is charging across their economies. Uh, nations are going bust in our day and age. We read this in the papers all the time. Always crisis. The Arab Springs, Israel, Middle East war and famine crisis. The red horse charging across the, those nations. The white horse of deception, both politically and religiously, is charging across the world through the media, a rogue unknown U.S. president, through the U.N., through the U.K., through false religions. Okay, the world is coming to a head. A collision course is fixing on happening. These preconceived plans are spiraling out of control, and I see an apocalyptic storm of the century about to happen. This is a well-planned event that has been in the making for decades, even centuries, by a host of elites. Just take a note of this chart here. This just shows a lot of the groups that have come together, and such as the UN, the uh, Bilderbergs, uh, the Trilateral Commission, Council on Foreign Relations, uh, the Royal Institute of International Affairs, uh, Club of Rome, uh, the list is many of all the players and organizations, etc., etc., but some of the top dogs are families like the Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, Kings and Queens of the World, Henry Kissinger, Morris Strong, uh, 
captains of industry, military generals, bankers, and on and on. This reminds one of where in Daniel 3, King Nebuchadnezzar calls on all the elites of his day to come to the dedication of a 60 by 6 idol. Uh, must note that again, our world leaders are so anti, anti God. We live in a very anti Christ world. Uh, so there is much evidence of this end time B system in the making for a long time now. So much online about. <clears throat> now, I, you know, suggest to you to study these things, like the New World Order, One World Government. Uh, there are people who want to own and own the world and control and enslave and kill not only millions but billions. One third of humanity killed, according to Revelation 9. Verse 18, and we're seeing the world on the brink of a third world war right now. You know, there's like 25 countries gathered in the Strait of Hermus. So it's all building up. You know, it's all going by the book. Hallelujah. Yes, my friends, humanity is in for a rough ride, and the stage is being set. Jesus said, For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor sh ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Uh, Matthew 24, verses 21 to 22. The power of the Antichrist and his agenda will be s brutal and tyrannical. Will make Hitler look like a Boy Scout in comparison. Billions will die. Men and women will be hunted down like animals. Put in prison. If refused the mark, 666 will be killed. It will be a time of false Christ and false prophets, which we are seeing in our day and age, who will show signs and miracles, just like Pharaoh's sorcerers could do. Look at magicians like Chris Angel and others who can do mind-blowing tricks. It will be a total time of satanic tricks. The Jews are looking for the first coming of the Messiah, but what is fixing on happening is the second coming of the Messiah, Jesus the Christ. Hallelujah. The Jews miss Jesus, except those whom the Father had revealed him to. Those who were supposed to be the spiritual leaders, the rabbis, and the Pharisees, etc., did not believe that the carpenter's son was the Messiah of the Scriptures. And they ended up putting Jesus to death on the old rugged cross. And it has been 2,000 years since Christ walked the earth in the flesh. And all the signs Jesus told us about in Matthew 24 and Revelations and through Daniel and the prophets and the apostles are all lined up. The world is in a chaotic state, financially, always at war. False religions run wild, receiving billions. The weather cycles are gone crazy. It's a dark day. The church must be ready. Sinners need to repent and obey Acts 2.38 while there is hope. But like the days of Noah, hope finally shut its door and multitudes drowned. They wouldn't listen to God's man, Noah, and they died a horrible death. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith to the churches. I'm Jay Sperry. God bless in Jesus' name.